All right, hello everyone, and welcome to another game between I Bly versus Tarson. This time in the Zonaga Caverns, I Bly spawning as the blue Zerg player on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Tarson um, on the bottom left hand side of the map as the yellow Terran. So, Terran versus Zerg here in the Zonaga Caverns does promise to be an interesting matchup as this game is now underway. Tarson, as a yellow Terran player, just training up SCVs, drones being built early on. And not much to really talk about. And Zerg versus Terran in the Zonaga Caverns, the natural expansion, kind of far away, but it does share a common choke point here. You can put spine crawlers here. That does kind of protect your natural expansion, um, at least from Marines. Not quite as much from Marauders as Marauders have the longer distance, and the Marauders are able to snipe down a hatchery much more easily than Marines are. Command Center and still training up SCVs as um, taking a look at Ibly. Ibly should be able to get a large number of drones trained up in just a second, delaying for some reason. There you go, finally getting those three drones up. And we'll see if he tries to go for a fast hatchery or if he goes for an earlier spawning pool and extractor. The hatchery obviously um, there to give you a stronger economic boost. The Zerg players are normally able to set up a hatchery a little bit faster just because their hatchery only cost one drone and 300 minerals so it does allow them to set it up just a little bit more quickly as opposed to being able to mine an additional 100 minerals to try to get up to 400 save for a command center or a nexus the trade-off though is that the hatchery only only gives you um two food instead of um, 10 or 11 like the like the nexus or command center respectively so because of that, because they give you a lot less food, um, it doesn't help out nearly as much. So we'll see what's going to happen with Bly. Bly will be training up some SC or not SCVs, some drones in just a moment. I promise you guys, I did get a lot of rest. Um, I am still feeling a little bit under the weather, so we'll see how this goes. A Marine now trying to pop out of there. There is an SCV now starting to take some damage, trying to slip away, and it's right in between the two uh, barracks is right there and making it very difficult. And now out pops a Marine. The Marine is going to get some early damage on the Bly's um, scouting, um, scouting extractor and drone there and now are the marines going to do anything no the marines are now going to make their way down the ramp wait for three marines and then push out you can see that the drone oh getting surrounded trying to use mineral pathing and now gets taken down so there are going to be perhaps three to four marines on the move there is already already this early scv and i believe bunker play may be coming in in just a moment a very aggressive bunker play and is it going to work out? Drones are already being transferred. Six Zerglings now being queued up. Bly needs to get up a queen as well. Not quite sure why a queen is not currently in production. He has the food, has the minerals. As that SCV just wandering back and forth, there is a spine crawler currently coming into play as well. So that spine crawler needs to hurry up and grow up as a bunker now being produced over here. There are Zerglings now trying to make their way over, but the Marines are already there to try to fight it off. Three Marines against that one spine crawler there. Now the Marines trying to get some distance. The drones also coming in as well. So the drones also move a little bit more fast than those Marines. And you can see the damage is being dealt by both sides. And now those Marines are going to be forced to pull off. But there are two Marines with a decent amount of range continuing to fight back. And it looks like more of those Zerglings will get taken down. So trying to go after one after another on those units. The bunker now down to 171. And this very aggressive Marine push is going to fail. Bly now chasing after those Marines. Marines going to not be able to stand around. Oh, now going to try to use that little bit of a funnel location in order to get them into a single file. And now four Zerglings quickly coming in. Two Marines desperately trying to run away. There are going to be four Marines guarding this ramp. Six Marines most likely by the time the Zerglings get there. And those four Zerglings do not want to engage. Yeah, one Zergling already down. Another Zergling down to 11 hit points. And now... Bly, um, unable to really power drone nearly as much as he would have liked to in that battle, having to train up a lot of Zerglings. Taking a look at the losses, though, the Terran did lose a little bit more. I did believe that he did um, stop his bunker in time, so he didn't lose nearly that much. And the Zerglings now trying to take down this supply depot, but two Marines there to offer some protection and backup support. We are going into a command center and a factory. The Marines just so close to trying to shoot down that overlord one marine staying there just to make sure that the marine uh, that that overlord doesn't get any smart ideas and try to get some and um, try to do some scouting there so while uh, a decent number of marines now holding back we may get some banelings being produced yeah banelings the obvious counter to whenever your opponent does go mass marines getting banelings is a very very strong counter as those banelings deal so much splash damage the, the splash radius is rather large 
and the splash radius and does full damage across all of the attack um so unlike a siege tank which does like a quarter damage and or half damage and then a quarter damage it is full damage across a very very large radius so one of the benefits of banelings we now also have the tech lab being built down so i'm assuming that tarsen is once again going to be going for hellions um, hellions um, have the one problem against banelings though as they are light units making them um, take a lot of damage as well two to three banelings can easily destroy five to seven hellions hellions generally like to group themselves together there is one hellion being trained here second hellion should be trained up again as well as the units are on the move more marines are trying to make their way out two to three hellions need to be trained up as that infernal pre-igniter research has been started Orbital Command now in the air, going to land on the ground in just a moment. We are going into layer, so the layer will allow for the movement speed on those banelings and perhaps a spire in order to get some mutilus. Mutilus and zerglings banelings, very, very popular strategy. As a what I blind now, perhaps going to set up a hatchery here. So he is already setting up his third base a mere eight minutes into this game. Is he going to be able to power drone enough? 35 drones versus 29. A bunker has been placed down here. Marines now just walking single file to get out of there. And it looks like multiple, multiple Hellions are going to be trained. The Infernal Pre-Igniter Research about halfway completed, or exactly halfway completed as I started that sentence. And more Hellions still being added. So six to eight Hellions going to put a lot of pressure in just a moment, only needing 40 more seconds. And then the amount of damage that these Hellions do will increase significantly by more than a hundred or more than 70%, I believe, 60 to 70% against those Zerglings. Marines are holding in that mineral line as well in order to make sure that those Zerglings, if they try to swarm in, will have to fight the Marines here. And then there is also that bunker support. So Marines in the mineral line offering some protection as the Hellions are on the move. The Hellions do not have that blue flame research yet, but are going to try to get in ahead of those Zerglings. Unable to do so, Zerglings move so so quickly across that hellion driver just so sad and just face palming as like i cannot catch up to that one zergling why can't i why can't i why can't this thing drive any faster trying to and push forward now there is a spine crawler there baneling production has not yet started but we the centrifugal hooks have already begun and now those hellion dealing so much damage seven to eight hellions once again just getting so much splash damage it doesn't even really matter that those queens um are not vulnerable to light as they are doing that much splash damage and more zerglings just getting toasted and more and more zerglings just falling to the wayside you can see the losses just racking up very very quickly those hellions now trying to get more damage across those uh, queens once again trying to use that range that superior range range of five against but banelings now coming in the banelings however are slower then those Hellions, and now Splash Damage coming in as well, so the Banelings have been splashing against Hellions, and now in comes a swarm of Marines. More Banelings need to be in, produced, in production, but this is going to be very difficult as those Marines are on the move as well. Those Hellions just going to perhaps try to try to drive by as those Queens are now getting torched. Another Queen going to get taken down here. Hellions coming in. Banelings going to get splashed down or splashed against those Hellions. And are the Hellions going to be able to do anything? And Hellions trying to drive away. They look like they will be able to. Army-wise, 1250 versus 375. And Tarsen using Hellions and Marines very, very effectively. Just going to simply just get some more drone kills. And that's the problem when Zerg does not get any roaches whatsoever. If you try to rely too much on Zerglings and Banelings, then these Hellions are just going to be able to deal so much damage. It's not even funny. You can see that the Marines are still coming in. The spine crawler over here just a little bit out of position. Banelings splashing themselves, getting a couple easy kills there. And now the Hellion should be able to walk, uh, just drive up that ramp in just a moment. More Zerglings getting toasted. And... Yeah, Tarzan having a bit of trouble. He is still mining off of those mineral patches unit-wise. 30 drones versus 45 SCVs. So this is not... Um, the, and although Ibly is really, really far behind, he is not out of this game just quite yet as more banings are still being hatched. But if this layer goes down and that Spire gets taken down, his whole entire... Um, his whole entire tech tree will essentially be reset. Banelings, once again, getting a nice, decent splash there. A couple low hit point Hellions. Those Hellions don't even have any upgrades besides that blue flame. But when you have plus 10 attack against, uh, what, 70% of the Zerg army, uh, why else, what other upgrades do you really need? So the Zerglings just getting um, toasted more and more. Queens now trying to get more damage. Now back on creep, able to um, continue to give chase. One of those Hellions dealt low on hit points. And now we may be getting a drop. Why really dropping onto that high ground? So you have five Hellions now coming in. And the Medevac um, getting focused down instead of those Hellions. And down goes another Queen. A Queen writhing in agony as it gets burnt and toasted to a crisp. 
finally the roaches are now um, out in order to try to counter i don't see any marauders and but those hellions now realizing this is a suicide effort getting as many drone kills as they possibly can the main base may be pretty much out of drones in just a second. No, not getting that final splash damage there. They're getting even more. No drones mining minerals there. And now going to perhaps make a run for the natural expansion here. Or the far expansion at the gold mineral patch. Hellions once again coming in. Driving by. Not even bothering to attack. Finally turning around. It looks like that Hellion getting some more damage. And the Roaches of Bly now just funneling in. And now Tarsen finally able to retreat. He does have a decent number of expansions. Um, uh, sorry, decent amount of defense. He also has a command center ready for another expansion. As the Roaches are starting to funnel in. We are getting some Siege Tanks, some more Hellions, a lot of SCVs. Already, I'm um, already queued up, and that one SCB now getting sniped down. Another one gonna get sniped down. There is a siege tank, but no siege tank just quite yet. And the Roach is now mounting a mounting a counter attack. SCVs coming off the mineral line in order to try to fight back. The Roach is unable to get to their target, that siege tank, and the SCVs trying to win the war. SCVs. And now, um, are we going to get Siege Tech in just a moment? There are some Marines. I don't know. No Marines over here. As the Roaches running straight into that mineral line, getting multiple, multiple kills. The Roaches now know that they have to back off as a planetary fortress. Oh, wow. That was a mistake by Tarsen. He canceled it at the last second. But another Supply Depot will get taken down. Upgrading to a planetary fortress there doesn't make much sense as you cannot lift off a planetary fortress. And more damage still being dealt back over here. The Hellion and now up to four kills. Trying to see how many kills it can get. Up to six now. Battling it out. Roaches going after SCVs. And with no real Marauders. The Roaches are now starting to deal a lot of damage. But the Siege Tanks able to get off a quick and easy blast there. And more damage and to be had. Siege Tank may get another blast. No. Unable to see or um, not within range on those Roaches. As we are now at 33 drones versus 42 SCVs. Still a slight advantage for Tarsen income wise. Um what twelve hundred versus Iblies Iblies um what twelve sixty so Tarsen still has a little bit of a slight advantage. He is going to be able to mine more gas as he, I believe he is still mining. And now Siege Tanks up on the high ground. Going to start blasting away on the low ground here. Marines now just um, dealing so much damage towards those Roaches. And the Siege Tanks on the high ground here. Even though they were revealed. Not much that we um, Iblai could really do about it. As Transfusion to try to save one of those lower hit point spine crawlers doesn't last very long. As the Marines continue to give chase and now trying to go after those drones. So drones not long for life as they are still diligently mining away even though they're at the wrong end of a Gauss Rifle. Down goes another Roach there. All the drones finally able to escape. The Roach is coming in from the north in order to try to reinforce but instead getting shelled by those Crucio Shock Cannons even further. Roaches now getting within combat range sniping down a quick Marauder and has to be very careful to not take any additional damage from those siege tanks there. You can see now Tarsen macroing up like crazy, getting a lot of barracks. Now still running off of two factories, getting more Hellions. Siege tanks are still being sieged up here and these units need to go on the move. Perhaps um, having two of these siege tanks on the low ground in order to um, extend the range on those siege tanks a little bit further. As long as this Zelnaga Watchtower is controlled by Tarsen, no real way to, to um, start dealing damage unless an Overlord makes its way. Production-wise, one Mutalist now being trained it will be a very, very difficult job for that Mutalist to try to capture or try to take down these siege tanks as... The Mutalists are not going to be able to deal that much damage. One also low hit point hatchery. As Hellions once again driving by. Getting more damage. The Roach is now pushing in. Oh the Roach. Oh the Siege Tanks are out of Siege Mode. Marines now stimming. And now just battling it out. Those what Siege Tanks do deal a fair amount of damage. Even if they are not Siege. And now pushing out. Taking down more of those Roaches. Hellions over here. Torching more of those drones. And there's the game. I Bly leaving. And Tarsen taking this game here in the Zelnanka Caverns. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay between Tarsen and Iblai here in the Zilnaga Caverns.